that. It gives me chills. I know. So uh, Alex and I are, are uh, here in the NSX. We just did a, a quick little video video shoot and uh, haven't really done a full uh, a formal introduction of this car. It's a, it's a 99 uh, NSX uh, and it's, uh, it came to us in relatively bone stock form. I mean, right down to its uh, original alloy wheels. It's, uh, it's a relatively low mileage NSX. It's a 55,000 mile car. It's a manual six-speed and uh, great car. We we wanted to take it to the next level and uh, kind of decided that we wanted to do an ITB build and and uh, put some nice exhaust. And, and Alex, you you kind of you were the man in charge of you know locating all the parts and and uh, and the direction for the build. Uh, so what where do we start? Yeah. So essentially, originally we wanted to go high horsepower and. We took a turn and decided, okay, let's make this car all about balance and noise. So ultimately, we wanted to go with ITBs and a full titanium exhaust. It was all done um, with uh, Toda ITBs, Dishworks injectors, an AEM Infinity uh, standalone system that was all tuned by Unrivaled. And the exhaust is from Pride. They're, I believe they're based out of Ohio or Texas. I'm not 100% sure. God, I love the um, exhaust. But it's, yeah, it's a stainless header with a resonated test pipe. And this unique pretzel titanium exhaust that just, it glows and just has the perfect pitch for this car. It really, hands down, is the best sounding car we've got in our fleet of cars right now. Now what about, what did we do with injectors? What what injectors are we running? So we did Dishworks injectors. Uh, they're set up so in case we decided to run E85 on the tune that we could, um, but it really didn't need it. Uh, unless we do cams and go the Toto route with cams, adjustable cam gears, um, everything that I've read and from what I've researched, it, they say this car really wakes up when you go high compression with E85 and the Toto cam systems. What kind of power? Will they make when you're, when you're doing 400 that? plus? Wow! Right now we're right just short. We're at about 300. About 300. Okay. Yeah. Two um, wheels. Wow. So we did, and, and let's talk about body kit. I mean, you know, what else? I mean, we did a lot more stuff, yeah. right? We did a short throw shifter in there, and I think we did a little video on that. Alex did the install on that, but um, you know, we wanted to kind of dress up the body. And who was it? Downforce. Yeah, downforce? the body kit's all produced and provided by Downforce out in Irvine, California. Um, they're really one of the only major aftermarket NSX providers for body stuff. Um, they do everything from replica, second gen NSX uh, with the pop-up headlight, which is essentially what we have on this car, is a hybrid front bumper that we then still had to reshape with our body guys to get the lines all perfected. Yeah, and that, and that was the thing, you know, we, I, I love the, uh, the integration of the two generations, and it's not really generation, but it was the upgraded yeah. exposed headlight from pop-up headlight, and uh, it's a marrying of those two bumpers together. But, oh my God, you know, if you, for those people that think you could just bolt that on and put a paint job on it and go down the road, it, it, that is absolutely not the case. And we. That, we, yeah, and we, that's just one yeah. of the ten pieces. Every single and piece I know. needed work. We went with ten mil. We went with ten mil uh, fenders, uh, but I wanted them to look. I wanted them to look OEM. So what we did was we moved the uh, uh, we moved the turn signal uh, from the JDM spec style signal to the front running light. Uh, we, we replaced those and uh, gave it more of a kind of a, a US look. And then of course um, we. Uh, we, we spent four weeks fabricating this body to look like it belonged on this car, and that was not, that's not an understatement. 
the amount of time and effort it's taken for us to build this up to look like it belongs in this car was uh, unbelievable. So uh, with that being said, the end result is pretty cool looking. Um, you know, we went with the, uh, the uh, what is it, the Type R style hood. Oh yeah, the, uh, it's the, the, it's a Type R spec style hood. It does have a functional duct that is pulling air from behind the electric fan and then shoots straight out of the hood. So it is functional. Um, Saibon also makes one, but it doesn't come with a duct and the vent size is completely out of proportion so it doesn't look right. Um, but this really completes the look with that, the spoon mirrors, spoon bucket seats, spoon seat. We tried to do as much of the spoon products as we could. And, and let's talk about the wheels because we went with a... Uh, a staggered right? TE37. Um, it was an OG set is what they called it based on face design. Um, originally they were white, but the, the widths of them for the front of this car being a street car running fender liners, running full suspension travel, we had to essentially downsize the front wheel to make it narrower. So we have essentially a 17 by eight with a plus 20, plus 21 offset, um, where originally they started out as a 17, nine plus 34, but we also had to machine the backside of the spokes to clear the spoon calipers because they have so much overhang and that was, the, that was a challenge in of itself. You know, one of the things we absolutely wanted to do is keep that that aggressive dish look. Um, yeah, without... and essentially there's only two other wheels that would fit without any mods and they just, they, it's not what we wanted for this car. Yeah, we wanted to kind of, we, we, we knew what we were going into when we did this and uh, it was, uh, I mean, the end result's been great. It, we kept it Kaiser Silver, um, love that color. We did a deviated, um, painted roof and painted wing in a black with a little bit of a silver metal flake in the black um, and uh, we love this car I mean everybody that drives it absolutely loves it the sound it makes and um, the performance you get out of it is fantastic my uh, oh and also we added this cool steering wheel which I'm who makes this wheel yeah so it's a it's a Momo wheel uh, essentially remodified by spoon their button but then we did the works bell uh gtc flip up so it makes it so easy to get in and out of the bucket seats for, for every day yeah absolutely especially for some old guys like us but are like me anyway um with well, all, yeah, whether you're tall or short yeah. it, it makes sense to have the steering wheel out of the way with that being said i mean it's a it's it's still a relatively stock looking car in terms of uh what it has going for it um it's just got that really unique look and we absolutely love we absolutely love it. Um, we still have to do a few little things to it. We want to work on the steering rack, and that steering rack is something we're going to start focusing on here next. But yeah, more to follow. I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, you know, keep us in mind. And uh, we'd appreciate a follow. And if you like us, give us a thumbs up. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.